Fora TV. The world is thinking. So now I'm focused on policy, and the way I'm going to describe this is with this figure right here. Now, I had a figure with the real data. This is fridge efficiency, so that's kilowatt hours per, you can say, cubic foot or cubic meter. And um, for decades, uh, well, actually, there was a period there in the 50s, 60s, and 70s that fridge efficiency stayed about constant. Um, fridge use of electricity was, was going up because the average cubic foot size of fridges was going from about 800 uh, cubic feet to 1,800, um, at least in the, in the data that I was just looking at. But what I, and then fridge efficiency has been improving uh, since then, in part because there has been some energy price effects, there's been some uh, regulations. And so that's why when California talks about how it got its emissions down, or not its emissions, it's uh, how it got to greater energy efficiency, as an economist, we're interested in sorting out, okay, but what was the relative responsibility for this of these independent factors, uh, price, price expectations, uh, regulation, and then, yes, maybe subsidy and information programs. But you can't just give all the credit to the subsidy and information programs. And, in fact, with subsidies, those dots up and down above that line represent that at any time there are people buying less efficient and more efficient than what your average is. If you run a subsidy program, what you're trying to do is get the people above the line to go below the line. So, but you have to be able to identify them. You have to be able to go to a room like this and say, I'm going to give $50 to everyone who, buys a more, who would have bought a less efficient fridge, but now will buy a more efficient fridge only if I give you the $50. Please, though, if you would have been below the line anyway, don't raise your hand when I'm walking around with the $50 so that I make sure I don't give you the $50. So there's the uh, challenge in running these programs. So the people who get the $50, if they were people who were going to buy the more efficient fridge anyway, then we haven't changed the world from what otherwise would have occurred. That's the free rider problem.